All right, people. So here is the deck profile for Cyber Angels. Uh, I kind of wanted this deck to maybe stay for a possible another month. I was kind of messing it up. It didn't do the best job. And, of course, there's a ton of different things you can do with it. Uh, probably one of the better uh, ritual-based decks that we had since Necro, so that's cool. But, uh, no, I don't get another month of it. All the decks uh, got rearranged for daily duels for this upcoming month. So you'll be getting deck profiles and new decks dueled all week. And then, uh, of course, for the next month from uh, the later half of June to uh, the early half of July. So, with that being said, people, let's go ahead and uh, do the deck profile for Cyber Angels. So, uh, this deck, I mean, it's really good. It really is. I just, I mean, I kind of felt like I messed it up and just so many different variants and ways you could take it that, you know, you might even want to just throw in Pot of Cupidity just so you can play everything that you want to play because there's just so many good cards, so many. So let's go ahead and hop into the deck profile. So as you can see, we, you see the Star Staff engine. Of course, it didn't get hit here in the TCG. It's a great engine, it allows you to plus like crazy. And you know, in the OCG, this is at one, but you know, we never hit it. We kind of just went, nah, we'll forget it. No one's playing Star Seraphs anymore. And yeah, I mean, still, it's just great. You know, you summon, you search, you special, you draw, you special, you draw, you exceed, you pop, you draw. It's just, it's just so good. It really is. You just, you get all your bang for your buck back, and it's, it's, it's totally great. So uh, the reason why we're in there is because fairies, of course, and uh, we have a special card over here called the Ben 10 that allows us to increase our consistency of, of getting these cards. So, uh, if this card is tributed, you can add one light fairy type monster from your deck to your hand. So, you pretty much just tribute her off for ritual summon. And, uh, you know, if you have a stick, you can go ahead and get the chair. If you have a chair, you can go ahead and get the stick and uh, go to town with the Star Surf Engine. So, it just helps the Star Surf Engine be a little bit more consistent. Not like you told me that, right? Uh, then, of course, we run a triple Manju and a triple Cyber Petite Angel to get your searches of your ritual spells and ritual monsters. So, uh, Petite, Petite Angels, their own custom one. Uh, you can either add a Cyber Angel monster or a Machine Angel when she's summoned, period. So, uh, she actually works really well with the Ritual Sanctuary. I'll go into more detail when we get down to there. But uh, just know that, I mean, you pretty much have six Manjus because, you know, Manju searches and the uh, Cyber Petite Angel will search, and that's really great. Uh, this variant right here, to clearly see right here, I've tried multiple different things over the last month that this deck's been on, but this is more in the pure variant, the more just the Cyber Angel deck uh, I did. Uh, I'll talk more about these when I get done with the rest of the deck profile, but uh, there's other things you could do in this deck, but uh, I played two Vishnu and two Dokkany. Uh These are nice, but they're not uh, the... They're the beaters, they're the ones that are going to get you for the game or get, get you killed. But they get kind of cloggy at three, so that's why I'm running them at two. I think that two of the, the bigger ones, Dankini and Vishnu, are appropriate. But they're very strong. They're both very strong in their own ways. Um, and of course, the meat and potatoes are running the triple Ben 10, the triple I 10. Uh, them being level six is very helpful. So. Uh, one of your best plays is to go ahead and ritual summon the item by tributing Ben 10. Ben 10 will, of course, get you a light fairy type monster from your deck to your hand, whether it be pretty much everyone here, including Miss Christia, because that's power too. And then item 10 will go ahead, when it's ritual summoned, you can uh, get a ritual spell card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. It's actually pretty good to run triple of your machine angel ritual. Uh, you can go ahead and banish it to block uh, one of your light monsters, uh, or light light monster or monster. So if you're getting rid of that uh, banish it to protect them from uh, a battle or back card effect. It's great, but it's good to go ahead and recycle if you need to. With I-10, you're going to be doing a lot of ritual summon, so it's good to make sure that you have them in your deck for when you need them. And sometimes you might even want to go ahead and pitch like one of them to uh, for uh, Sanctuary to get a light ritual monster, so that's important too. One Christia, uh, you know, there's a lot of fairies in here. You can generally keep track of uh, what's in there with your ritual summon, what you're tributing, your star surf engine, summoning back with your uh, ritual sanctuary, something like your petite angel. So uh, if you feel like there's a good time and a good opening, you can, when you tribute uh, Ben 10, Ben 10 gets you a search, you can be like, all right, well, after I tribute Ben 10, I have exactly four. Go ahead and search Christia, Christia. I mean, come on, Christia's a one more card. Uh, I kind of threw it in here. I'm not the biggest fan of Christia. Uh, as you can clearly see, I'm not running Vanities. I kind of felt put her in like the same boat, but at least it's a little bit more difficult to summon, more of a strategy. But, uh, you know, I don't like the idea of being like, okay, well, I'll just lock my opponent out of special summoning. They can't do shit. But, of course, you know, you're definitely going to be seeing some Christy up in this deck. I mean, just the ability just to search her, that's pretty nice, though. So. Uh, and that's the, that's the monster. So 23 high monster count, but that's totally fine. Keeps your plays going. That was plus a lot. Uh, and the Regeki, of course. Uh, 
and then preparation of writes is that can run preparation of write, but it can't run pre prep because this doesn't list it. You know, it's kind of like necros where you know this one ritual card works for all these ritual monsters. So uh, you know, you can't really use pre prep, but you can use pre prep for something else that I'll go in more detail about. Uh, so preparation of rights, and that level summon a little ritual monster from your deck in your hand, then get the ritual spell card back from your graveyard. Straight up, plus one. If you pull off properly, I mean, there's a reason why it's at one, right, people? Right. Uh, then uh, triple twin twisters, pop that back row. La da. Uh, this is their. F well, I wouldn't say their field spell, but God, it works so well for them. Uh, ritual sanctuary. Uh, you can discard a spell card. And you can either add one light ritual monster, pretty much everybody, or a ritual spell card from your uh, deck to your hand, so that's great. Uh, we run two terraformings. You can run three, but of course it gets cloggy, but then you can also pitch the extra terraformings for this, this effect, so that's good as well. If I wasn't running the Christia, I'd probably run three of this, uh, the terraformings, to get the uh, ritual sanctuary. And the second effect is good as well. You can shuffle any number of spell cards from your graveyard into your deck and target one light fairy type monster in your graveyard. This level equals the total uh, level of the cards that shuffle back in special summoning. So, uh, pretty much, it's really Cyber Petite Angel. Cyber Petite Angel is level 2. So, really, all you need to do is just shuffle in two spell cards back from your graveyard. So, then back Petite Angel. Unlike Manju, where it says when it's card is normal summon or flip, Petite Angel says when it is summoned, period. So, you summon it from the graveyard and get a search. It, uh, one of the greater combos that you can do, definitely get the Petit Angel set up because then you can go ahead and use your Ritual Sanctuary to then just be like, all right, well, you know, I have extra terraformings, or let me go ahead and put that pre uh, you know, preparation of rise back, or that Regeki back, or the Tintus is back, put it back into my deck, go ahead and some Petit Angel, get a search, it's just all good. And then, of course, the Solemn Brigade, the Triple Strike one morning, throw in pretty much every deck. All right, extra deck. Uh, of course, Gaia, because we have some fives and sixes, uh, well, 95. So we got some sixes. Uh, M7, Photon Strike Balancer, that Gauntlet Shooter. Uh, then, you know, just the whole box shit. Uh, Castell, Dweller, Emerald, Giant Hand, Utopia the Lightning with Utopia, Diamond Dire. Uh, so, so we have a Field Spell. Go ahead and do it in Heartland Draco, just, get, just in case. Uh, and Dark Rebellion. And then, uh, since we are doing the Starship Engine, we need monsters that require three level four because this chair is like, hey, it needs three or more materials to make it with the two with it. So, of course, we got that Deltaro. So, you summon it, your opponent can't really card their uh, effects when this card is uh, special summoned. So, uh, well, normal summon, well, monsters are normal summon special summon, including itself. So, you summon it, your opponent can't respond. You go ahead and use your uh, stick effect, pop one of the cards, draw a card. And then Ouroboros, just in case you don't need to go into Death Rose, you can go on Ouroboros and do all them nice effects as well. So, like I said, there's a, life, a lot of uh, other variant things that you can go ahead and do. So, you can use the products. Of course, they're level 6 as well, and, you know, find Tribute Father. Uh, we've seen this in the past where you go ahead and tribute them for, you know, each other. But this deck, you know, tribute them for Ritual Summon. They'll go ahead and summon you that Labradite, and you can go into Ultimar Zulkin. Ultimar Zulkin, we've seen it plenty of times. You'll see a little bit over here in the TCG, and, you know, the extra deck Monarchs uh, thrown in with, uh, like, the quick draw done with their um, their OG Monarch. It's just Ultimar Zulkin. Set a card. Crystal Meth, like, it's just so powerful. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually... You know, you like bam ultimate because it's just, it's just not fair. You're not doing things properly. You know, you're not. It's it it's starting to get. I mean, I don't want to go on a little rant here, but Ultimaya, and especially with how easy it seems like we're getting them out with us, where well, we're just like this and this. It's bam, here we go. You know, Ultimaya. It's kind of like I know, I'm 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 probably speaking about me, but it's like Ptolemaios. You know, you're doing plays that you're not supposed to do, in that sense. You know. Like, Patala Miles, look ahead and detach three, stop a Nova, stop an Infinity, or yeah, I, I'm Rick Ford that has access to all these rank fights. I'm a freaking synchro monster that, that I'm not really even synchro proper, like, just, you know, a tuner, non tuner at the same level that, you know, it's really generic. And then all I had to do is set a card, like, ooh, set a card that's so freaking difficult, and I have access to all these powerful level seven or eight uh, dragon type synchro monsters, you know, Crystal Math, Beals, you know, uh, Void Ogre. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, just access to crystal meth in itself, it's kind of like, <gasps> so, mm. <laughs> uh, So, as you can clearly see, uh, we have some sixes in here. We have Ben 10, who likes to be true to get a cert. I tend, when it's true, uh, all your ritual monsters gain 1,000 attack and defense uh, permanently. So that's going to scoff at. So, we got some uh, sixes here that wouldn't run during the party. So, of course, we've got Herald Perfection. I mean, I mean, it'd be pretty nice to go ahead and activate Dawn of Herald, tribute Ben 10. Ben 10 will get you your search. Uh, Herald of Dawn will go ahead and grab your Ben 10 back for more. Uh, ritual play, so that's great. Uh, then we also have uh, Sephira, 
uh, you already know it does uh, when the light monster jump from deck from your hand or deck to the graveyard or when the turn that she is ritual summon you get one effect to your interface draw two discard one that's power discard a random card from your opponent's hand that's power or add a light monster back from your graveyard to your hand I mean it's all power it's all great so that's great too and then her her uh, ritual spell uh, if a ritual monster would be destroyed by battle by card effects uh, you can banish this card instead so kind of similar to machine angel machine angel blocks all light monsters while this only blocks ritual monsters but I mean it's still pretty much the same thing it's still good and then of course with these cards, with these ritual monsters and the ritual spells listening, you can run the powerful pre prep. Oh my god, pre prep. You know, that that's just pretty much an incentive in itself to go ahead and run the and why throw these guys in because pre prep. You know, add a ritual spell, then add the ritual monster listed from your deck or very active hand. It's it's so good. It's so good, you know. Necros can't play it, Cyber Angels can't play it, but these guys can and you know, these guys kinda of work with these guys of uh, the tributes, you know. I mean you, sure Harold would be, you know, eighteen, but if you tribute like I ten it could be twenty eight attack with a thirty eight booty, I mean, you know, or you know, thirty five hundred Sophia, so no complaints there and the search is great too. So, and I said, many different angles that you can take uh, this deck, many different things that you could do. But overall, just a great experience. Cyber Angels, I definitely would give them a thumbs up. It's a great ritual deck. Uh, you know, ever since Necro's left, we haven't really seen much of the ritual mechanics. And it's good to see these uh, these these decks come back. And it's good to see Alexis actually, you know, get something. Because we really never got any of their cards. And it's good to show that she comes back in the Arc 5 and she's like, hey, look at my shit. And it's like, you know what? You got some pretty good shit, Alexis. So, uh... All right, that's it. That's the deck profile for Cyber Angel. So um, go ahead and take the deck, do whatever you want. Go ahead and take some of the dressings, do some of that. Um, you know, I've got another Daily Duels. We haven't seen it already. It's another Daily Duels that's up. We are playing Madoche. It's a classic. I mean, OG deck on Daily Duels. I mean, it's been a while since I played that, so that should be fun. You guys voted for Madoche's? Madoche's? It is. Uh, we are playing Madoche's. Uh, and it is actually the day that this is going up and the day that that day is also going up. Four year anniversary for the channel, so I'm doing a four year anniversary Q&A. So if you guys want to go ahead and uh, get some of the answers to the questions that you asked in the video that I previously posted, then be sure to do that as well. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the time that Cyber Angels was on Daily Duels. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, checking out Deck Profile and watching every single duel that was a Cyber Angels. And uh, yeah. Uh, have fun watching some of the Alright people, thanks for watching.